In this next video, I'm going to show you guys how to create an away message using the Gmail app on the iPhone. The first thing I want to mention is that depending on the app you're using, they might have their own away messages, but for this one, we're only focusing on the Gmail app. So if you're using Google Suites for your business, um, you can use the Gmail app for sending and receiving email. And it's one of the best and easy ways to let people know that you're out of town and busy. So first step is to download the Gmail app from the App Store and make sure you're logged into your account. I already have it open here at the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and tap and open that. And at the very top left-hand corner, you're going to see this is your kind of sidebar. Let's open that up. Gives you a list of other uh, of your files and folders. At the top here, though, you see the the tool setting, or the or this is just the setting for the Gmail app. Go ahead and tap there. And then it opens up a list of things you can do. You can turn on your mobile signature, or turn on your vacation responder. Go ahead and tap this on. Then you select the date that you want this to start. So maybe you're going out of town on Monday the seventh, and you're going to be back on in the office um, the following Monday. So you want to maybe turn it off on the on Friday or the weekend. <clears throat> Once you have your date set here, the last couple steps is to now edit the email that goes out to the people when when uh, they email you. So someone emails you, it'll send them an auto response that you're out of the office. So you want to type in your title here, your email here, and then down at the bottom you have a couple options. Only send a response to people in your contacts. I always leave this off. This is for vendors or customers or anyone who may or may not be in your system. Just send it to everybody. Once you've done that, the last thing you need to do is hit save at the top. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It also works on the desktop and it works uh, here on the, on the mobile. Now, uh, let's say you made a mistake and you want to turn it off or maybe you decided not to go out of town. At any moment, you can go right back into the settings and just turn it off right here and just tap it and it's off. But you have to remember to hit save. Sometimes you don't do that and it turns it right back on. So always hit save and you're done.